All right, everyone, today we're doing an oil change on a 2020 Porsche Cayenne. I haven't seen anyone else with a 2020 video. So I'm gonna show you where the oil drain plug is. I'm gonna show you where the oil filter is. Uh, I figured it'd be down here because usually they are on these kind of cars, but it looks like it's up top. So we'll, we'll figure that out for you guys. To get access to this part, it's gonna be the front most uh, belly pan. Looks like that. That's obviously the top of it. And you're going to need a T25 to take off these 20 little screws and a T30 to take off these two more machine screws. Got some finer thread on there. So once you have all that out, it'll look like this. The drain plug comes off with a Torx 45. Uh, should be right there. Customer got a new one from Porsche, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is the kind that the second you crack it, it is gonna start dripping oil on you. So I will try to let the car cool down. This one is extremely hot and was kind of a pain to get it out, but we got it. So I'm gonna wipe this off, put the new drain plug and gasket back in, and we'll go up top and I'll show you guys where the oil filter is. You can get a quick shot of all the belts and stuff here. Dual belt system for the serpentine. Uh, I haven't really seen too much of this car yet, so let's let's go on top and see what it looks like. Alright, we're back on top. So this is what the engine bay looks like. You can't really see anything. No room for squat. So I had to kind of take a peek in here first, get an idea of what was going on. So if you look here, this is the driver's side. We got a little silver clip here. We're gonna pull that. That's gonna gotta go down. So this thing can kind of come off in, in two phases. The whole thing as an air filter and everything, or just this top cover. So now we're on the passenger side. That's the front of the car. Second clip, okay? So once you have those, um, see if I can do this one-handed. So there's, see this lip right here? We wanna only pull up on this upper part. So we're here in the corner, quick tug, quick tug, and then this top portion has come off. I thought you had to have the oil cap off to do it. You don't apparently, because that just came right off. Okay, uh, there's some like pins in the back here, so you pull forward. So when you go to put it in, make sure the pins sit in and then put everything down or else they won't line up. So this whole little air filter cover comes off. Let's put that somewhere. So now we have access to the actual air filter itself. You can see the air box intake right here. It's gonna go down to that charge pipe. Filter looks pretty dirty, but that's just like the uh, pre-filter outside the actual pleating inside. You can see the pleating right there. So we're not too worried about that. So now we need to get this off. So we can get access. Yeah, I see it. Come on, there we go. The oil filter housing down there. So I'm gonna put my phone to the side, get ready for that, and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, we're back. So I looked around to see what else we need to come off. So I took a flathead, undo the little uh, worm clamp right here on the charge pipe, just kind of push that down. It came off pretty easy. Just kind of pry in between here and push down, no big deal. I don't think there's anything over here, but on the driver's side, if you look, this hose is attached to here. So this clip, I just pushed it towards the driver's side of the car, pulled this up, and I think this should come out now. Oh wait, and these things, you need to pull straight back so that they're not attached to here. And there's one on the passenger side as well. So let's pull up. I think I can do this one-handed. Oh, that's hot. Um, let's try this. Oh, it looks like we're still got something in the rear. Oh, it looks like I gotta go forward. So let's pick the front end up, pull forward. Boom, slid out. See those things? A little pipe that slides into the back of this, so. Just like kind of like the top cover, you have something to line up in the back, you push it in towards the firewall and then down. So I lift it up and pull forward. Uh, let me move this off camera and then I'll show you guys what's underneath. All right, so we have the giant cover off. That, that was the metal shield that was hot that I was touching. So that's pretty warm. And we can see why, because it sits right over the turbo. So let me scoot back so you can see everything. You can see in the front is a charge pipe we took off, uh, oil filter, filler neck on the right or oil filler neck on the right and turbo right in there so we have a little not really a strut brace but just like a little radiator support up here in the front it's not i don't think it's in our way so we can see the actual uh 32 mil 
hex right there. So I have the little oil filter adapter on my wrench, so we'll get that off. If you were to do this first, um, you're gonna wanna look down here and watch that gasket, because if you didn't already drain the oil, I would imagine some would leak from there. I would normally stop there. You can kind of see it bubbling a little bit. Give it some time to work down, and then you should be able to take it out without making a mess. If you do, you can always just spray some brakes cleaner and parts cleaner and get uh, all the oil out of here. But there shouldn't be much oil left in this because I already drained the oil because I figured it was down below. So let it sit here for a bit. I actually still have the drain plug off below and I think I hear it pouring out fast, faster down there. It's a good thing I left a pan underneath. Um, it's pretty hot, so let me go off camera. I'll pull this thing out and I'll tell you guys if I was able to get it out of here with this bar on my way. I'm sure I'll be fine though. You might just make a little mess, so let me grab a rag too. All right guys, so I tried to pull the plastic part of the oil filter housing out through this backside behind this bar and I couldn't seem to get it out so what I did was while it was obviously like still down in there, I was holding the filter from the plastic part with one hand and then I took a flathead and I pressed down on the actual pleats of the oil filter in there and I basically just separated the two. So once they were separated, I pulled the oil filter housing through the front portion right here. You can see I spilled a little bit of oil, but nothing that we can't clean up. So once that I got that out, through the front part and that was out of the way and now we can just reach behind and pull the actual oil filter and it looks like that's sitting in a bunch of oil so we're gonna need a rag and grab that yeah definitely don't want to do this hot it is just incredible how hot everything is. I can't even hold on to this filter for more than a few seconds. So looking at it from back here, uh, housing through the front, then you can just grab the filter from behind the bar. Uh, so we'll just do the filter in first and I'll see if I can record myself putting in the filter housing so you guys can see. It's, it's pretty tight, I, I don't think you can do it from the back without taking this bar out, which you can, I think kind of easily, it looks like three bolts but I just don't have an interest in doing that. So let me get the new filter. All right, fam, we're back. This is the new filter. This is the genuine Porsche filter. As you can see, we have a gasket, or a gasket. We have an O-ring here on both sides. Uh, it looks pretty identical to me. I'll probably just do like numbers up. Um, and then you obviously have your O-ring on here. You guys, it's super important. Make sure you change these things. You won't believe how many comebacks I've seen from other shops or people trying to do their own. Um, and since the o-ring isn't lubricated it gets jammed and then kind of wedges to one side and then it doesn't seal so that thing kind of just pushed in um you know putting a little oil on those o-rings is going to help too so that's in let's i'm going to try to dry draw that last little bit of oil out and we'll do that so give me a sec all right so i tried one more time to try to go install it from behind the bar just not happening so uh put it in like this Obviously, mind the O-ring, you don't want to cut it as you're freaking putting it in here. So you need to go above this little vacuum line here. And you see that one right there? There's one that runs above. You see my finger pulling up on it? It just gave it some slack to fall in. So basically, yeah, you're going between those. You're just going to rock it forward. You can see I'm getting close to the filter. I'm already on top. Let's try to find those threads on camera. And we're going in nice and smooth. I guess I'll just finish, get the 32 on there, switch it to tight, to tighten. I don't know how people film and work on cars, this craziness. So another thing, please don't over torque these things. Just literally, I think this calls for 25 newton meters, which is probably only like 20 foot pounds. I need both hands here, so I'm gonna put this down. Jeez Louise, not a phone oil change. Probably just as annoying as the Panameras, just because of the oil filter location. 
unless you take off the whole uh, little bracket for the uh, belly pan, you make a giant mess. But yeah, that's it. So plus 25 meters. Uh, someone can comment down below what that is in foot pounds. I think it's around 20. Whatever. Uh, so if you do happen to make a mess, um, just clean it up. You can put some parts cleaner, then rack the car up. Uh, or, you know, I, I have it on a lift here, but I'll uh, lift it up again, clean up everything down below so everything is clean for the customers. Um, but yeah, so when you crack that thing, if you're up doing up here first, let it sit for a minute so you get all the oil out. Um, I would leave it cracked and then drain all your oil, then come back because then this whole filter housing will probably be empty and then you won't make a mess because there won't be a bunch of oil just sitting. You won't, have, you won't, you won't be pulling out an oil-soaked oil filter. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna just do reverse assembly and we'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back for when I start it up. All right. Um, so yeah, and then if you would ever want to change your filter, I'm pretty sure it's just these two, looks like 25s or 27s, T25s, and then these two clips and this comes out. I tried just these clips and it was still holding it down. So I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be those two. If you wanna change the actual oil filter, uh, we're gonna leave that one for now. I dumped all that, most of the sand or dirt, whatever the hell is in here, out of this air box. Uh, so don't forget those three things, two ports in the back, charge pipe in the front, oil filter, oil filler tube, and then let's put the cover on, and then it's just the two clips. Sorry, last thing. So four things before you put this upper cover on. Uh, you need to get these two back in. So that's what it looks like, what it should look like, and this is what it'll look like when you have it disassembled. So this ridge goes above these three little indents, and then this lip sits above this plastic, and then these little notches sit above these marks. So above, outside, outside, above, all right? I guess I can try with one hand. So we're above there. And there, oh, almost. So see how that lip is going on the outside of that? We need that to do that. This is going inside, which is not good. Oh, close, close, oh. There it is. And you'll hear a little snap on the inside of these ridges. I mean, I don't think it's a make or break thing. It's just pulling in cooler air from the front of the car as opposed to hot engine bay air. Uh, so yeah, now cover. I can't do it one-handed, so uh, just line up the bag, push down.